Diversity and inclusion is really important uh, for Salinas. We came up with this project, which we call Project Rapids, which is really looking about attracting, retaining and developing the best people with uh, the right skills to sustain manufacturing at Bradford and Grimsby. Part of the, the project is about reaching out into these communities. We want to have more women on the site. Looking at the uh, ethnic mix on the site, it doesn't represent what's, what's in Bradford. As a trades union, we believe in equal opportunities for everybody. So this includes women, LGBTQ, disabled people, ethnic minorities and migrant workers. The GMB works in partnership with Selenis and this leads to an inclusive workforce. And if we look ahead, what kind of skills are we looking for? Well, we want uh, people who have good, good problem solving skills. We want people who have different ways of thinking. Good communication is key working with people. Is you've got to have good people skills. Problem solving is a massive part of my role. It's important to everybody's role on site because you need to be a work on your own initiative as well as part of a team. Main thing I say, as long as you're willing to work hard, then you'll be able to go really far. My shift pattern works really well for me. I've got a young family. It helps me support my children with school pickups, nursery pickups. The shift pattern, I do two days and then two night shifts, which are 12 and a half hours long. So it, on average, it's 12 shifts a month. It works really well, so the time off is really nice. And it also gives that extra chance if you needed an overtime for shift cover. You get really good benefits, but really good pension and booper health care obviously helps with family care and yourself. Personally, I've had every every skill set that could be given to me has been given to me, everything that I've asked for. I've had fantastic development from my managers and this is why I'm in the position I'm in today. There's a lot of support on site for people. You're never on your own. I do feel like the site's like one big family. I know that I wouldn't have made that step into production without a lot of encouragement from other people who said, you know, you're, you're going to really enjoy production, why don't you give it a try? I would say go for it. It's a fantastic opportunity. It's a brilliant company to work for. I think um, they provide fantastic opportunities if you want to grow as a leader, if you want to grow as a manager, um, there are fantastic learning and development opportunity in this company. Absolutely, I would say do it. Um, it's hands-on, it's so much fun, you know, you get to work with all different people, you get to work with customers, you get to work with people around the globe. At Selenis we have a Women's International Network of Selenis, um, which is called WINS. The aim of that is to make sure that women are supported to make sure that we amplify the voices of women and to make sure that women are connected and are able to uh, achieve their full potential. So in regard of the Women's Network and Menopause, Selenis have held a lot of training sessions which have been available to every single employee uh, about menopause and I think Selenis are at the forefront of, of recognising that for a big part of their workforce it, it will impact their working life. It's really interesting being a woman in manufacturing. Um, it's a great feeling that you know you're breaking glass ceilings. You know you, you're changing perceptions at times, and I think people appreciate uh, you know the empathy, the soft skills that that a woman can can bring to the role. Being a female working within manufacturing isn't as daunting as what it seems. Being a female managing a team of men is no difference for me. It's about how you manage people. It's about ensuring that you're open and honest with the team and in ensuring that you're fair. Don't think that just because you're a female or just because it's a career that you wouldn't probably have looked at, don't discount it. I see myself leading um, a department, uh, engineering department, uh, leading a number of people, managing them and working for this site in a senior leadership role still here for lab but with the opportunities that there is to move up throughout the ranks per se i'd like to move up maybe up to shift manager eventually to achieve our potential we've all got to push ourselves out of our comfort zone and i think that's what manufacturing encourages you to do you don't know what you can achieve until you try so you have to push yourself to realize your full potential